This is a DevOps conference, so you didn't think you're going to get out of here without hearing at least a little bit about the Phoenix Project, right? So in review, there are three ways. The first is flow. The second is feedback. And the third, which is the most important to me, is to create a culture of continuous learning. Oh, shit. Good thing this is a talk about failure. Are we gonna get... I want you to think about that feeling that you have right now. We're going to do an in-talk post-mortem. Because the feeling you have right now is how you instinctively feel about failure and the people around you. Sidney Decker believes that you can have a culture that blames or you can have a culture that learns, but you can't have both. So you're going to have to choose one. In a retribution culture, we meet hurt with hurt. And we ask these three questions. Which rule was broken? How bad was the outcome? And what should the consequences be? Does that sound familiar? Are those the questions you were asking when you thought I failed? In a restoration culture, we meet hurt with healing. We ask these three questions. Who is hurt? What are their needs? And whose obligation is it to meet those needs? And I hope those are the questions you start asking when you see failure. If you take one thing from my talk, I want you to Google Sydney Decker Just Culture and watch these four 15-minute videos with your team or your manager or both and discuss what you see in these videos. We want to work regularly to make a restorative culture. This is one where you tell your account as opposed to paying or settling it. You have forward-looking accountability as opposed to backward-looking accountability. You ask the question of what is responsible as opposed to who is responsible. Now, this is a picture of me many years ago when I was younger uh, doing trapeze. Uh, I totally ate it on that last one there, uh, but it was okay because there was a safety net. So we have to make it safe to fail. The first way is flow. And this is what you'll hear a lot about at a DevOps conference. This is moving things from your business or your development side through your operations out to your customer. The second way is feedback. And this is where you build this continuous feedback through the system so you can do things faster, smarter, better. But to me, the most important is the third way. And this is to build a culture of continuous learning. And what we've learned from Sidney Decker is you can't do this if you have a culture of blame. So what we need to do is eradicate or lower the amount of blame in your organization, which is not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of trust to build that. The DevOps Handbook is a follow-on to the Phoenix Project, and this has real-world stories. In this book, there's a story from this company called Netflix. And this is a DevOps conference, so it's always Netflix, right? At Netflix, there was an engineer that had taken down the system twice in the last 18 months. I want you to ask the question, what would happen at your organization if you or one of your close uh, teammates took down your site twice in the last 18 months. Because at Netflix, this engineer wasn't fired. In fact, this engineer was, quote, moving Netflix forward, not by miles, but by years. So we need cultures where we, we trust each other and we have that ability to fail. Because if you don't have that ability to fail, you get hiding, secrecy, Evasion, self-protection, finger-pointing, and possibly worst of all to me, repetition of errors that you could otherwise have learned from. Those are the best times to actually learn something is when something bad happens. If you haven't already read Blameless Postmortem and Adjust Culture on Coded's Craft blog, that's your second assignment. I read this. It changed my life. I've held over 500 uh, retrospectives in different forums over my career, and I, I can tell you one thing is you need to listen to people. The hardest thing for me is it's very easy to place that blame on the sharp end or the individual when the whole system created the failure. And it has to be an option to put it up on the blunt end. My name is Aaron Blythe. I really want to thank you for allowing me to come out here to Chicago. Uh, I love Illinois. I grew up here. I want to thank the AV people for allowing me to make it seem like there was a failure when there wasn't. You're awesome. You did an amazing job. I do one of these in, Cal uh, in Kansas City. So if you happen to be in the area in uh, October 25th or 25th, 24th, 25th, that's the first time I messed up. That is cool. All right. Uh, see you there. Bye.